Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you this card. Now this isn't a Stampin' Up! card. This is um, free stamps. Every Thursday my daughter goes to Slim and World and one of her friends works in the distribution centre for the magazines, the paper craft, um, craft beautiful die cutting magazines and she knows I make cards so she hands my daughter one or two magazines with stamp sets and I really like this stamp set and I wanted to make a card with it but didn't know what actually my sister made this card and I've cased it from her because she liked the stamp set that much she went out and bought the magazine so the magazine is Craft, Crafts Beautiful and on the inside just shows you all the cards you can make with this card set in fact oh I thought there you are there's one with that background on it and this is the craft set uh, stamp set which is quite nice and it has this big duck as well that was on a belly band round it but I think it's quite nice quite nice stamps and they're not cheap plastic you can tell I haven't used this it's stuck to it not cheap thin flimsy ones they're quite thick I'll get this one off they don't stretch like cheap ones do oh it's a duck and a rabbit together and they're quite I think they're quite nice so I decided to make a card with it I do have loads of these now because I think it's about eight or nine weeks she's been coming back with one or two magazines and when my daughter told her we were starting, me and my sister were starting up a paper craft group she handed us a load of um, magazines and with stamp sets to give away so Afterwards I'll show you some more cards I made with free, the free stamps. Right, to make this card you need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored and folded in half, and burnished, and guess who hasn't burnished a card? Right, this one I used Tranquil Tide, now I'm going to use Cherry Cobbler. So you need a piece of five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have gutted this one because I didn't have a piece of scrap cherry cobbler big enough to do the scallop circle, and I wasn't going to open a new. Considering it's a free stamp set, use your scraps. Two pieces of white cardstock at. One should be, and I haven't cut it down, so I'll have to cut it down, at five and a half by three and three quarters, and the other one is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And then a scrap for the duck on the front. Right. We need this. It doesn't do anything inside. Oh, a little chick inside. So that and that and a piece of scrap paper because we're going to be stamping off the page and I never got the little chick out so where's the little chick I think I got the little chick oh there he is I thought I got them out of another stamp set but I didn't Right. Just 
stick him on there. Right, I have got the eggs with the little chicks mounted and I'm going to use the rest of fine for this. And what I did, stamped it but it went off the page and then stamped the next one next to it and then did a little chick on there. This one I brought in a bit Start again where I first started. Just did this all the way down the page. Did that wrong, but never mind. We'll do. That's that. Right, for the chick, I'm changing my ink. I'm going to use Memento Black. The reason being, not the chick, the duck. This is heavily um, shaded. And if you use the VersaFine, it near enough comes out black. So I'm using this because it will come out a lot lighter so you can colour it in. And his neck. Let's do that again. Way you're supposed to stamp. So that's the duck and the sentiment Happy Easter. We'll go back to the Versafine and I stuck that right in above his shoulder near his head like that. And then all we've got to do, oh, now we've got to do him, which is inversifying. And we just stick this little chick down there. There we are. Put that away. Get rid of this, we don't need this. won't go in. Right, to colour these in, I've used my markers. I hadn't used them for a while so I thought I'd use them. All I did was cover this in yellow. Now on his neck, he's got like a, a necklace. this chicken yellow as well I don't usually make Easter cards but I thought I'd use these stamps sets up and I want an orange 
right. I'm using. What am I using? Grapefruit Grove. Just colouring his beak and his um, feet. Just put some colour in. And then I'll just put that down there. Real red. I'm just colouring this. Necklace he had around his neck. And then I cut that out in an oval, which I've already done here. And that will go on top of this cherry cobbler red. That's that done. That I'll keep for another time. Right, with the eggs. I did one blue, and then I went round and did every egg that was laying that way in blue. I'm not going to do the whole lot for you because I've already done it. Then I did two pink. I did this one pink. And this one pink. This one's pink. And then mint macaron for the other one, the one that's left over. And then I did the chicks. Yellow. Daffodil delight. Not a bad card for free stamps, but well, they're not really free because you're buying the magazine. Well, you would be if you want the stamps up. And then using the grapefruit uh, gorgeous grapefruit grove. I just did their beaks. And you just do that all the way down. Obviously colour it in a lot nicer than me. And that is what you'll get. And this will stick on my cherry cobbler because I had already cut it down. But first of all, I'm going to need to stick a piece of ribbon. And I've got this ribbon here. 
this is claret but it's quite close to cherry cobbler so cut off a piece there tuck that back in This ribbon in the middle. And stick some tape, she says, to hold the ribbon on. Straight. Yeah. And then we'll glue that on the cherry cobbler. Bit glue on the ribbon. on the card. See, no one can tell I've got it out that card. I don't usually gut card. But I didn't really want to start a new piece of cherry cobbler. Which, oh, I don't even know if I've got any more. I think I have. Right, now with the um, chick, or the duck, not a chick is it, it's a duck, stick that on there, and this is the chick. And stick that inside. And with this, I'll stick it on dimensionals. Oh, I'm going to use up. Oh, this stamp, this card's made up of bits. Stick that in the middle of the ribbon. And there you have it. One quick easy card with a free stamp set. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe and use the notification button and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon bye